Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a year-end 2019 favorites. So it is the end of the year and the end of the decade. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of round up my favorite products of 2019. I'm gonna have some beauty products, some fashion products, and then some like kind of randoms thrown in like music, electronics, books, you name it. So if you guys are interested, please follow along and I'll leave everything that I mentioned down below if I can still find it. So I'm going to start with my favorite beauty products first. I feel like that's what most of you are here for. So let's jump right into it. All right. So my first beauty product I discovered this summer and it is the Copper Tone Glow. I swear by this. I have told all my friends to buy it. I've told the public. I told random people at the beach and the pool. It is my favorite thing ever. So it comes in 15, 30, and 50 as well. I have the 30 and the 15, but basically it's sunscreen, but it has shimmer in it, and it just leaves you the most beautiful bronzed queen, but it really just leaves you so nice, and the tan that you get from it too is even more glowy than like a usual tan, but I swear I love this stuff so, so much. I actually had like three of each this summer. I bring this everywhere I go, every vacation, it gets packed with me. I love this stuff. You guys need it. This will definitely be continuing in 2020 with me. So my next favorite is kind of a new beauty product for me. I got it about two months ago when I was on vacation. We stopped in Gucci in the Aventura Mall and they had the beauty and I haven't seen the Gucci beauty in the flesh yet. I've seen it online, a few bloggers talking about it, things like that. So I dabbled in it and I got a lip gloss. So it is the satin. First of all, this bottle, gorgeous, this tube, whatever you want to call it, gorgeous. So this is what the color looks like. I actually have it on right now. So it is a satin finish, which for me is perfect because for lipsticks on me, sometimes they're just a little bit too dry. I'm more of a lip gloss person. So the satin has a nice shiny finish on it. So it kind of leaves your lips glistening. And then if you want to, you can pop on a gloss over it. Right now I just have like a little dab of Fenty Beauty, the... Um, the original color. I forget what it's called. I'll leave it down below. I just have a dab in that in the center of my lip just to shine up a little bit more. But this is the satin and it's the Painted Veil number 201. And I've only had this for about two months right now, but I've gotten so many compliments on it. I just, I'm freaking obsessed with it. Definitely my favorite lipstick to date. I'm going to be using this for a while. So my next favorite I discovered back in May when Gigi attended the Met Gala and she posted that she had this beautiful white smile for the red carpet thanks to Kendall's Moon Pen. So if you guys don't know, Kendall Jenner partnered with a new company called Moon and it's all organic teeth oral care product. So this is a teeth whitening pen and I'll show you what the bristles look like. So it's like a white bristle. You pump the bottom and it comes at the top and you put it on your teeth and you let it sit there. I think they say for about like 30 seconds to an, a minute. I don't really know. So I'll put this on every morning. It shows results right away, but it also shows results over time. And I actually really like it. I have sensitive teeth when it comes to whitening products, so this does not hurt at all. It's kind of like a minty taste to it. So in the morning or before I'm going out for an event, I brush my teeth and I put this on for a little bit. You just let it sit there and then you spit it out and you're good to go. You definitely do see a result. It kind of just gives you a brighter, whiter smile for the time being. But it's nice too because it's travel size. So if you are going to an event, say you're getting married, you're going to a wedding, you're going to prom, wherever you're going, you can pack this in your clutch. It's small enough and you can do little touch-ups throughout the day. But my next product is the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. As you can see, there's nothing left. I love this. So I actually have a video of first impressions from, I feel like it, almost exactly a year ago. But this stuff's great. So this is the original. I have the darker color as well. I like both. Basically, you can use this before and after you do your makeup. You just shake it, spray it, and it gives you a nice finishing to your makeup. But it also gives you a little bit of extra glow. And highlight for me is one of my favorite parts besides bronzer to my makeup. So this is just kind of like an extra added step to make that highlight come out even more. And it gives you an all over glow as well. I love this stuff. I recommend this to a lot of people. They loved it. It's good stuff. It smells great. They usually have a um, coupon code as well. Or if you guys like any bloggers, I'm sure if you Google this or YouTube this, somebody has a code that is getting paid somewhere. It's usually about 30% off. Um, 
but it's great stuff. They have a lot of great products too. I use their illuminator drops. I just got their bronzer highlight palette too. Everything I've used by them so far is great. But this product is by far my favorite product from them in 2019. So the next product is kind of a twofer. It is the Tanologist self-tanning product. So my sister and I, when we went to London in April, we kind of not discovered this product because we knew about it. So if you guys don't know, Lottie Tomlinson, who is Louis Tomlinson, former One Direction member, his little sister is a very popular blogger, and she came out with this self-tanning line. So we knew about it, but it was only sold in London, and then it became available, again, like the Moon Oral Care, in Target. So we tried it. I don't always self-tan, but when I do, I am reaching for tanologists, but my sister usually uses this like on the daily and she loves it so there's two different ones in it so this is the self tan mousse in medium so this is express uh four tan four shades in one so it is clear but when you pump it it comes out as a mousse and you can just use a mitt put it over you leave it for a little bit and you shower we really like this stuff too because it really leaves behind a nice natural tan and you don't look too dark where you can tell that you fake tan and it doesn't streak at all we really like this product so we also have the tanologist self tan drops this is face and body drops so we will use this for our body and then this for the face too it's just a little bit easier to control on the face and you can also what i like about this is you can drop it in with your regular moisturizer and put this on your face which is really really nice too because it kind of makes it a little bit easier to mix around your face and it feels a little bit more natural but um we love tanologist we need a nice glow throughout the year so another one of my beauty favorites of 2019 is this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. So for me, I'm not a huge like smelly lotion kind of person. And it's one step of my beauty routine that I always forget is moisturizing my body. My face I never forget, but my body I forget. I think just once I get a shower, I'm in the zone to get ready and I kind of forget this step. But what's nice about this is you do it in the shower. So after you shower, before you dry off, you put this on all over your body and then you pat dry with your towel and it really leaves behind your skin so moisturized and also has kind of like a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't want to say shimmer, but it definitely has like a little bit of a glow in it. I love this stuff and it smells great. It's coconut. It's funny because I love the smell of coconut, but I hate the taste of it. But I really, really recommend this product. It's super cheap too. It's drugstore. Great stuff. So now I'm going to go into my fashion and accessories favorites of 2019. So I'm going to start off actually with the top that I'm wearing. So this is from Urban Outfitters and I love the shape of it. It has a square neck here. So let me stand up a little bit. I have the wrong pants on with this. but So it has a square neck, has billowed sleeves on it, and it's a crop. But it kind of is like a corseted top. But it's stretchy, so it's not like fit, but it gives you the shape of a corset. And then the sleeves are see-through, but they're billowed and big, and they come to the wrist with buttons. And I'm just obsessed with it. It gives such a good fit on it. It looks good with everything I've worn it with. Skirts, jeans, leather leggings, leather pants, you name it. And it literally looks good with everything. I feel like I'm always reaching to it, and it's like come to the point where I'm like, all right, I've worn that eight days in a row now, so I can't wear that anymore. But I saw it actually just recently in Red and Urban Outfitters, and I was so close to getting it. But the red just wasn't, like, perfect to me, but I probably will end up getting it anyways. But Urban Outfitters, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, but if you are, please get this in every single color. It's a perfect year-round top. I'm obsessed with it. My favorite thing in the entire world. I love it. So another thing that I'm wearing, too, that is a fashion accessory favorite are these earrings. So these I mean, I love hoops and I love gold. Always worn them. But these smaller, thicker hoops have been really in style this past year. And they're most of them are expensive though, but I found this pair for $25 in a boutique in my friend's uh, place in Jersey. And I'm obsessed with them. I wore them like every single day since I bought them. They're just like the perfect staple too. And I feel like they're understated enough, but still make a nice fashion statement. So you can wear them to work and you can wear them the night out. Perfect size. They're good. I like them. I feel like you guys can find these everywhere too. I won't be able to find the link for it, but I'll find a similar pair for you. So we're cheap. I feel like Forever 21 definitely has something similar. So this is another twofer, and this is probably my favorite product of 2019. So I got it last January, so it was definitely like just right in the year mark. But it is my Gucci Dionysus bag and the matching card case. So I wanted this bag forever. 
forever, forever, forever. And I kept debating between this size and the really large size. But I realized, like, I'm going nowhere that I need a full-size bag. And this, you can fit so much. So what I love about this bag is, too, you can wear it with the two straps. And you can look like a classy girl out in the town at night. Like, ugh, yep. Or you can pull it. And now you have a crossbody for your more active days. Or, you know, when they're just looking a little bit more casual, then you can wear a crossbody. I love the chain on it too because it's like a nice thick chain but it's super light but still heavy enough where you know it's nice you know what I mean and then I have the tan color suede I'm obsessed with this oh so you open it it has a flap here and the pocket and that's where I usually put my card case and even when I'm not using this bag I'm always using my card case and then you have the main pocket which is just one big compartment and then tip for you guys too, which I uh, passed down to my sister, whenever you're using a nice bag, never put your lipsticks or your whatever you're bringing, anything liquid, your beauty products, never put it in the bag by itself. I carry around a Ziploc bag and I always look like a psycho when I'm pulling it out in the middle of like a restaurant or a bar to reapply my lip gloss, but never put anything loose in here, okay? You will deeply regret it. And then my card case, I use this all the time. This is all I carry, so I have my most important things like my insurance card, license, credit card, debit card, and I just put cash and Metro card in the middle and it has everything I need in it. Who needs a full wallet these days? Because it's nice. If I'm not carrying a bag, I just slip it in my back pocket. And we Gucci. Literally. <laughs> I'm so funny. So sticking with bags and accessories, I'm going to talk about the pouches from Stony Clover Lane. I have a few here, so let's dig into it. So these pouches are perfect for everything. You can use them for a clutch and a night out, a bikini bag, a beach bag, a pool bag, just packing in general. I always pack my bikinis in this when I'm traveling. This one in particular and this one too. They're like my go-to beach bags. So this one has the lettering on it so you can go crazy. You can customize your own pouches, bags, you name it. Everything you can customize in the Sony Clover. So this one says beach please with a little palm tree. And it's really big inside and they are lined too. So you can put liquids in here and if anything explodes you're good you can just clean it out very easily so this one's like my go-to vacation bag or summer bag i use this as like a, a bag 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 like i put my phone in it my keys in it and go out but i'll also use this as a beach bag inside of my beach bag if that makes sense so like i'll put like money in it whatever so if i'm going up to like the concession stand or taking a little walk or going back into the hotel if i'm traveling i have all my personal needs in here but which is also nice, if I'm using this for travel, I will pack my bikinis in it and throw it in my suitcase. And then once I get to my destination, I unpack my suitcases. And then I have this bag for the remaining trip. This one as well, this is another beach one with these palm trees on it. And what's cute too is I have a matching towel to this, so it's a cute little set. And then I have this one, which is actually my most used right now. So I have a neon tote bag from Michael Kors that I use all the time and this matches it perfectly and what I love about this one is that this is a see-through pouch so you can see everything you need it's nylon easy to clean I just put one simple patch a black C because it matches my tote as well it's black and neon love this thing and then what I'll do too since I pack this in my tote when I go to work if I'm going to the gym after I'll pack like my everyday pocketbook items like my wallet my keys my charger all in here so I can kind of take that and go if needed. So my last one I have is this denim pouch. It's like a nice light textured denim pouch and I have the patches for it too. I have my initials in this varsity pink. I have to bring them though to get sewed on because I bought them separately but this one I plan on using on the regular too. They're just like really the perfect bags. I love these things. So my next fashion favorite is kind of a trend slash product that I own. But I love matching sets, and this year, matching bathing suit sets have been my life. And I wish they were easier to find. Two good places that I find a lot is In The Style and on Pretty Little Things slash Misguided. I feel like the British are more ahead of this trend than the Americans are, but I love this trend. So I'm going to show you the two that I have, but I'm definitely bringing this trend to 2020 and looking for more matching sets. So if you guys know any sites or companies that have good matching sets, let me know. I also do love Monday Swimmer has great sets and they're not as loud as these sets. They're more of like solid color, a little bit more mature, but they're so expensive and it's not a bathing suit that I can get on the regular, but I wish I could. 
but I'll show you the first set. I have pictures too of me in these, so I'll give you like a better look. I'll like edit a picture right here. So the first set is this blue one from Pretty Little Thing. So I actually have a video of a haul too. I'll leave that link below. So this is just a regular bathing suit. I actually don't think I brought out the top, but I'll leave the picture here like I was saying. So I got these pants a few sizes too big, so I just tied them when I brought them to vacation for a quick picture. But it has a cute like um, bralette kind of top and a cute little bottom, not too cheeky. Love that. But my favorite is this set from In The Style. So it is this really cool like 70 vibes orange and turquoise blue. The bottom is definitely a little bit more cheeky, but it is on this lining that you can move these so you can make the bottom as cheeky or full coverage as you want. But I feel like a cheekier, like a little cheeky, just kind of shapes you a little bit better. And then it comes with this awesome, what well, does it come with? It's all separate. But I also got this awesome oversized shirt dress, shirt cover up if you want to call it. But this is my favorite set. I'll leave a picture here again of me in it. I love it. I feel like with a good tan, it is the best color. But what's also nice about this is if you pack it for like a vacation, say, you can also double this as a night out or during the day with jean shorts or a pair of like white pants and kind of tie it, make it a little bit more stylish. Or you can even go for it and wear it as a dress with like some clear loose side heels and like kill it. But um, I love this trend. I love my two sets that I have and I'm hoping for more sets in 2020. So my last fashion favorite is this one piece jumpsuit from Gilly Hicks. So Gilly Hicks isn't a normal shopping store for me, but I was in the mall with my friends back in April before we left for London, and we went into Hollister, and it had like a little display because they just opened up a Gilly Hicks store down the hallway from them. So I was like, oh my God, that is the cutest thing. It would be perfect for my plane ride to London. So we went in, and I got this. It is the most comfortable thing. I'll leave a picture here too of me in it because I know it's hard to tell on camera and I don't feel like trying it on. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But it is a one piece tank, has a jawstring in the middle, pockets, which is a must, especially when traveling. And then it has a jogger bottom too so you can pull it up. I wear it with like my Nike Air Maxes a lot. It's super cute. But when I'm traveling and like during the warmer climate, I'll put it with a jean jacket if I get a little cold. And then I have my jean jacket unpacked so it doesn't take up too much room. But I really wear this like all the time. It's like my off duty look because these still look really, really pulled together. And then too, I like wear this to bed. I wear it when I'm running errands. I travel. It has very, very much purpose in my life. I love it. And I feel like too, like on the tail end of this year, loungewear has become a huge hit. Like Kim Kardashian just came out with a line with Skims, this person, that person, everyone's coming out with like loungewear. So I feel like I was kind of like the pioneer for it. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But I love this thing. I wish I got it in more colors. Um, yeah, the best thing ever. So comfortable. And I think it was only like 40 bucks. Um, 40 bucks well spent. All right, so now I'm going into the last of my products. This is kind of the miscellaneous section. So I'm going to start off with my AirPods. I love my AirPods. I got this at the beginning of the year. I had the Beats wireless um, ones first, the in-ear ones, and I did like them. They were okay. They fell out on me a little bit. The cord sometimes like hit the back of my neck, and then everyone was like raving about the AirPods. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try them, and I love them. They really do stay out in your ear. I feel like I do some hard workouts, whether I'm on the elliptical, the treadmill, doing free workouts. They never really fall out. The only time they ever fall out is if I'm like changing out of clothes and like that's like a given, but they're the best. They're comfortable. I can hear. They really block out the noise. I feel like you all know about this product and I have a cute little mini mouse that I was gifted for my birthday. It's a little cover and I just clip it on my keys. So I have it everywhere I go. So whether I'm on the train, at work, in a restaurant, at the gym, I always have my headphones on me. So next up is very random. This product, it's been around for ages. I've used it for ages, but lately I've been using it nonstop and I always have it with me and I feel like friends and family always know I have it and they're always asking it for, from me, but it is Tic Tacs, the white kind. So I always used to eat the orange kind because I feel like they're like more like candy than a mint, but now I need mints in my life. So I started using these in September uh, when I met Niall Horan, I'll leave that link down below if you haven't seen that video yet. But when I met Niall, I didn't want to be chewing on gum, but I also didn't want to have rank breath. So I got Tic Tacs while I was in Penn Station. 
and I've never gone back. They're the best. You look a little classy without chewing. I hate the sound of chewing. If you know me, you know I hate that so, so much. Like, not my own chewing so much, but other people's chewing. So I feel like if I had that problem, other people have that problem, I don't want to be chewing and make that problem for them. You know what I mean? So, white Tic Tacs. Another one of my random favorites is the Amazon Alexa. She still heard me. I don't want to say it too loud, but we actually just got it this year and I'm obsessed. It was something that we never really wanted, but I think once we got Apple Music and we learned that she does play Apple Music, we had to get it so it's playing for the house because you can have all the speakers play the same thing at once. So we have it in basically every room now. I love it. It does everything. I've never been more lazy in my life. I extra set alarms. There's what the weather's going to be. I extra play music. And the best part is watch this. Alexa. Turn the lights off. Okay. <laughs> Alexa, turn the lights on. That is my okay. favorite feature. And I want to get every single one of my electronics linked up to an Amazon outlet so it can be linked up to Alexa. Because I'm obsessed with it. I've never been more lazy in my life. And I love it. So the next random favorite of mine is my Yeti cup. So my mom got this for us for Christmas last year. So it's technically like a 2018 gift, but Christmas is like so close to 2019 that can it just be 2019 favorite? I mean, I used it the entire of 2019, so I'm going to put it in there. So she actually got it embroidered with our names on it, so you can never get it mixed up because you all have the same one. But I don't drink hot drinks. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. I don't drink anything like that. But I love my water ice, 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 ice ice cold so I fill this bad boy up with ice water bring it to work and by the time I get home there's still ice in it left it is the best I love it use it every single day I bring it to the gym I bring it to work I have it on my nightstand at night just in case you get thirsty in the middle of the night love this thing then for my last random favorite it's gonna be books so I love this series my sister and I have read this series it started with the wedding date then it goes to the proposal and then it's the wedding date and now there's a new one too called The Royal Holiday, which is also like a subset of this series. But this series is great. We recommend it to a lot of our friends and they loved it as well. It's a very easy and quick read, but it's really cool too. It's very timely, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of like references of um, the past few years in it. It's very captivating. It's very like, um, it's not too over the top these stories. So you can kind of see this like happening to yourself, I guess. Um, they're really, really good reads. We love it. My friends have loved it. So if you're looking for a quick read, and I, I like a series too. Like I hate reading one book and being like, oh, that's it. So this is a series, but it's nice too because it's not like continuing the same characters. It's kind of like a, each character from this book, like a subset character from the one book comes the next book. A subset character from that one becomes the next book. So you're kind of learning about every character a little bit deeper in each book. So I definitely recommend this book series. I'm sorry I don't have the other ones to show you. One friend has one right now. And the other one, I, I really just don't know where it is. All right, so for my final favorite 2019, I was going to do like TV shows and movies, but there's just so much crap that I watched that I couldn't narrow it down or can't even remember what I watched this year that I wanted to talk about. But I did want to talk about music. So I'm going to list some of my favorite albums from 2019 to share with you guys. So one, of course, is Taylor Swift, Lover. So this album, we've been waiting forever. And with Taylor Swift, her albums are always like so much more anticipated because it's a new era. It's a new chapter. It's a new Taylor. And it kind of really just shapes your life. And as you can see, I loved it so much. I had to love her phone case too. But this album was perfect. I feel like it was the perfect time capsule for where her life is right now. She's just so happy, mature. And from her music, you can really, really hear that. It's a great album. I feel like everyone listening has listened to Lover at some point already. But if you haven't already, I deeply recommend it. It's very good. I feel like everyone can find at least one song that they can relate to and that they like. A few of my favorites from that album, though. I mean, it's hard to pick one, but I love I Think He Knows. I love Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. I love Death by a Thousand Cuts. Um, and You Need to Calm Down. Obviously, that's a great song. And Daylight 2, I feel like that was like the perfect rap of that album. But really, every song on it, I love. One of my favorite Taylor Swift's albums, for sure. And yeah, it's a great album. And I'm very excited. We got Lover Fest tickets, which I'm so happy about. So Allie, myself, and Riley are going to the one in Massachusetts at the end of July, I think it is. And I'm super excited for it. And you know what's like funny? It's like 
We bought these tickets for Loverfest and we have no idea what it is. Been like only Taylor Swift can do that, you know what I mean? But I'm very, very excited for it. So obviously Lover will be going to 2020 with me as well. So another favorite album 2019 is Post Malone's Hollywood's Bleeding. So we saw Post Malone at the end slash start of the year. So we actually spent New Year's with Post Malone. So on New Year's Eve, we went to Barclay Center and he had a concert starting 2019. And it was the most fun I've had for New Year's being home in a while. Post Malone is a great entertainer. And I always liked Post Malone, don't get me wrong. But that concert really just like put me over the top. And like since then, like I'm a stan. I love him. And this album was great. So I'm going to be honest here though. I feel like a lot of the songs do sound the same. But they're all really, really good. So a few of my favorite circles. I like Die For Me. Take What You Want is really good. That's one of Ozzy Osbourne. Sunflower, obviously. Wow, my favorite because he references um, Dallas Cowboys. I feel like me and Post Malone would be like best friends because a lot of his songs he references the Dallas Cowboys, whether it's the Dallas Cowboys themselves, Dak Prescott, Tony Romo, but he also mentions the Jonas Brothers a lot, which are like two of my favorite things in life. So like Post, if you're looking for a new friend, just give me a call. Speaking of the Jonas Brothers, it is the year of the Jonas Brothers. So if you don't know, um, I am a huge Jonas Brothers stan. I have been since, I want to say the 7th grade or the 8th grade. We were huge. I, myself in particular, was a huge, huge, huge Jonas Brothers fan. So if you don't know about myself, I've been to, let me see, I actually lost count. I've been to a lot of concerts, guys. Like, it's a little embarrassing, but I've been to, let's see, to date, 78 Jonas Brothers concert. Kid you not, you heard that right, 78 Jonas Brothers concerts. We used to travel everywhere for them. I've been to the Bahamas for them. Thank you, Mom, for uh, gifting me that for my Sweet 16. We used to go to, like, Maryland, Connecticut, Jersey, anywhere, like, in the local tri-state area. And if they had two shows, I'd be at both shows. So we've seen them multiple times. I've seen them 78 times. It's sickening. But love them to death. We've met them a few times. I've met them a few times. I keep saying we like I have somebody next to me. I've met them a few times. Love them. And this year when they came back as a group, couldn't be more happier. So they have a new album out called Happiness Begins. If you guys don't know, it also came with a documentary, which is great. Go watch if you haven't. But um, yes, new album, one of my favorites of 2019. A few of my favorite songs you want to know? Sucker, duh. Used to be, great. Don't throw it away, love. Trust, even better. And of course, Roller Coaster. And then two, Jonas Brothers ballads just do it for me. Like, when you look me in the eyes, best song ever. So Comeback really is a great song. Um, good job, Jonas Brothers. I'm excited to see you guys on tour again. All right, so I'm going to talk about one more of my favorite albums of the year. And this one actually came out at the end of the year in November. This is Ocean by Lady Antebellum. And I am obsessed with this album. It is the most beautiful album like I've ever heard. It's so, so, so good. Big fan of Lady Antebellum, but this album really, again, pushed me over the edge. Favorite songs on it are What If I Never Get Over You. That was our first single from this album. Great song. What I'm Leaving For is really good as well. On a Night Like This is good. And Ocean. Ocean is the best song in the album, I think. I like belt it out in the car. Like I'm in, pretend I'm in the music video. Like I feel all the feels and I'm just like, the waves, the waves. It's so good. So good. And this is actually like on my Apple top albums of the year and it only came out in November. That just shows you how much I listen to it. But great album. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. And don't say, I'm not a fan of country. Just listen to it, please, okay? So that is it for my 2019 favorites. Can't believe it's the end of another year. But with that said, I hope you liked the video. Like I said, I will leave everything that I can find linked below or something similar to it. If you want, go ahead and follow me at at Keegan CP on Instagram and at Carson underscore Perry on Twitter. And we can kind of talk about what your favorites are, if we have the same favorites, or you just want to follow me and see more content. You can do that as well. So I will see you guys next time and next year. Bye.